Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Minecraft Bedrock server so it automatically updates using my update Bedrock server bash script. This script works with Minecraft installed with my install Bedrock server script. So if you have a different installation of Minecraft, you're going to have to make some adjustments to the script. But if you used my install Bedrock server script that I showed you how to use in one of my previous videos, this script should be working seamlessly and you should be able to set up without any issues your server so every time a new version of bedrock server is available on minecraft's official website to get your server automatically updated just to confirm as you can see my app is now version 121.21 this is my client but if i go and try to connect to my home server you can see that the version of the server is 120.80 and if i try to connect I'll get that error message that tells me that the host is using an older version. And this is where the script comes to play. The first thing that you want to do is let's just quickly confirm that we have the supervisor running and that my Minecraft server is up and running. So I'm going to run sudo supervisor ctl status. And if you use my installation, you should have the same setup as me and your supervisor should be running your Bedrock server. Now, as you can see, my server is up and running. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clone my repository and that's where my update script is. I'm gonna post the link to my repository in the description of the video so you can do the same thing. And to clone the repository, all you need to do is run git clone and then pass the path to the repository and go ahead and click enter. That will download the repository and it will create a directory called Minecraft Bedrock Tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and cd into that directory. And in that directory, if we list it, you're gonna see that there are two files. One is the install Bedrock server. That's the script that we used to install our Minecraft in the previous video. And this one is the update Bedrock server, which is the script that will do the update for us. Now. This time I'm going to run the script manually so you just kind of see what it does and then after that I'll show you how to set it up so it runs under schedule and it will check every night if there is a new version of Minecraft and if it is it's going to download it and it's going to go to the process that we're going now manually and it will update it for you. So to execute the script all you have to do is run sudo bash dot forward slash and then the name of the script and you can go ahead and press enter. And what this will do, it will run through your system and it will look for installation of Bedrock server. And as you can see now, it found that I have an installation in an opt Bedrock server. And this is where most likely yours will be if you use my installer script. Again, if you used a different way to install your Minecraft server, it's probably gonna be in a different place. And you may get some errors here since you're not using the supervisor CTL and other tools that are in my setup. So once it finds it, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna proceed with an update? If it finds a multiple locations, it will ask you to confirm which location you wanna upgrade. So just make sure that if you have a different instances of the Bedrock server, make sure that you're updating the correct one. But the default would always be off Bedrock server because that's where it expected to be. So now to continue, all you have to do is press U and then press enter and the update will begin. So what the script will do first is it will go, it will check if there is a newer version on Minecraft website and if there is it's gonna download it and then what it's gonna do it will make a backup of your existing server and then it will install the new server and it will move to the new server all of your configuration files so it seems like it's already completed that's all it takes is just a few seconds and it's all done so you can go ahead and list your of the directory and you will see that now you have your server in a bedrock server directory and then the bedrock server with today's date would be your backup of your server and it will automatically stop and restart your supervisor ctl so if you go and run the supervisor ctl status command you will see that your server is up and running and it's been running for about 46 seconds now which means that it was just recently restarted so i'm gonna go ahead and open my minecraft app here and then I'm gonna go click and play. And as you can see now, I have the version of our server 12120 and that's the client that I have. So that should work. So if I go ahead and click connect, it will take a few seconds here. And as you can see, I will be able to successfully 
connect to my server. And there you go, I'm in. This is how easy it is to update your server with my script. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to set up so this runs on schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clear my screen here. So to schedule it, we're gonna use Cron Tab. It comes with all the Linux distributions, so there's nothing that you need to install. All you have to do is set up the Cron Tab configuration file. And to do that, all we need to run is Cron Tab E, and that will bring you to the Cron Tab configuration file for your user. And all you need to do then is scroll all the way down here. And now here we're gonna give it some instructions to set it up so it runs on schedule. So I'm gonna copy and paste and then I'm gonna go over it and I will explain to you what I'm doing. So this is the line that you need to enter, but you're gonna have to make a few changes here. So the first thing here is the schedule. So we have the minutes, the hours, the date, the month. In this particular setup, it will run at zero minutes at zero o'clock, which is 12 o'clock. In this case, daily, it will run at midnight. And if there is an update, it will update. If there is no update, it won't do anything. The next command, if you notice when we run the script, we had to enter U to confirm the installation directory. All this does is it just echoes and passes that U key to our script. So it doesn't get stuck to that question there and doesn't know what the answer is. So this is all that does. So you're gonna copy that exact same thing. And then we're just running the script. One thing to remember here is make sure that you give it the exact path to where your script is located. In my case, it's in my home directory for my Debian user into my repository directory called minecraft-bedrock2. So if your script is on different location, you will need to change this part here. And if it's in the same as me, just keep it the same. And if you wanna change your schedule, you're gonna to have to do it here. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm gonna go ahead, close and save. And that's it, now you have it scheduled. So every night now at midnight, that script will run. And if there is a new version of Minecraft Bedrock, it will install it for you. And again, just the last reminder here, your backup of your old server will be an opt in the directory called with the data the script was run and the update was done. So if you ever need to, for some reason, go back and look for a configuration or something that you thought it didn't transfer over with the upgrade, you can do it here. Or if for some reason you need to revert back to your older server, you can do it from here. If you have any questions, please go ahead, post under the video, and I will try to help you. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Thank you for watching.